Hey everybody, good morning, happy Monday. It's an amazing day outside. I was playing in the snow drifts today, taking my garbage to the curb, which you can't even see the curb because there's so much snow and ice. And just a, a heads up, when you finally do get your body well balanced, you're not gonna feel the cold like you used to. And I remember, two or three or four years ago, taking a bath and then drying off and just feeling like the coldest I've ever been. And it was like torture. It was like sheer, like torture. Now my body temperature is so like, like it's maintaining a certain level, even when it's so cold outside, I don't feel the cold like I used to. That's a marked difference. And I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, okay, Maria? I promise you. So I um, was looking at the, the, the news feed, and I saw the um, people are talking about the moon phases and the blood moon, and then someone's feeling like this whole imbalance or feeling the um, just like anxiety and all this stuff, right? And so, um, so they're feeling anxiety, and I'm like, you know what? I did feel anxiety a few months back when the moon phases were doing what they were doing, okay? And so I basically chalk it up to that it's hormones. And so when you have hormones that are out of whack, you're going to feel the different, um, I would say negative elements impact your pro predominant hormones. And when people have a hormonal imbalance, they're gonna feel the effects of those negative elements that are affecting their hormones, okay? So I'm gonna, give me one second, I'm gonna find this post. Cause I wanna, so Natalie Oxnider, Bye, baby. It was nice knowing you. Block. All right. There goes that. And Lee Bicky. There you go. Bye, Lee. See, we have a lot of um, people that don't understand the human body or the hormones. They don't. And so... Um, All right, so if you make any other emoji aside from love or like, and you do anything like, oh, wow, you know, or something else, then I'm going to block you because people play those games. All right, but whatever. So anyways, so then I'm like, okay, people that are affected by the moon phases, it's because they have a hormonal imbalance. And I was affected by the moon phases a while back. And then it, then I noticed it's because I had a hormonal imbalance. Finally, we did some discoveries that the three things that kill people is a hormonal imbalance, candida, and then too many natural killer cells or too many antibodies. But you know, the biggest thing is the hormonal imbalance because what creates a hormonal imbalance is the too many natural killer cells. And then, those two have to balance each other out and then candida goes nuts and then what happens is is that when you play in those three elements on a continuous basis then you start seeing um a death trajectory because it taxes the system on a continuous level so so here's what you need to understand when you are affected by certain negative elements that do impact your moods, it means that your hormones are not in check. It means there's something, there is an energy equals hormones that is predominantly controlling you, okay? And so when people go and see energy healers, when they go and see, um, when they play with the crystals, they go to like the Berkeley Institute. I went to the Berkeley Institute one time when I was in my 20s with my friend Teresa. 
And she was all about the energy healing, all this energy stuff, right? And that was what was the going thing in California. And so what, so when I was there and I was young and I was having sex, right? Well, they did a reading on me and I was having sex at the time. They were saying that, wow, your chakras, they're looking at your chakras, which all those little dots that are right down the middle. And they're like, wow, you have a very huge uh, aura at your lower chakra, right where my ovaries were. And I'm like, oh, interesting. Because back then, yes, I had the oxytocin hormone so prevalent. It was raving. It was a raving hormone. And so it didn't surprise me when they did a reading on me that I had a huge aura around my lower region, which was the oxytocin area the reproductive cells where the ovaries are. So, um, so anyways, I, uh, so whatever. So that's in the back of my mind. I remember that and whatever. And now, you know, I was going through my journey through the allopathic and the holistic world. And during my tenure with learning about the holistic world, the energy healers and the chemtrail activists and the anti-vax platforms, then GMO versus organic platform, and then the organite people. They're making organ energy. They're trying to say that we're gonna use this organ energy to counter the chemtrails, to counter all of these negative elements. And I'm like, okay, so I'm just trying to figure out, and I have organ. This is some kind of organ stuff. Now, I healed in spite of having this, but this actually does manipulate hormones. Okay, so yeah, maybe it might eradicate a little bit of the Wi-Fi, but I've never, ever did any type of um, Geiger counter to test to see how much radiation is floating around here prior to this being in my house and then do another Geiger counter to see how much radiation is after I have this in my house. And even then, I didn't do any kind of way to test to see if having this or not having this is affecting my own hormones. So then what is the point of this? It's another way to sell somebody with something it's another way to then use specific negative elements to go and manipulate somebody's hormones because chakras are your hormones. Energy is hormones. You realize the English language is so deceptive because words create worlds. And, and I knew there was something to this because I remember some of my holistic people that I've since blocked on Facebook they're capitalizing on making organ and organ energy gadgets like this. But some of them are really pretty, like pyramids and little rainbows and all that stuff. And, and I'm just like, you know, there's something. Because I'm like, how, how can you measure at all? And then what the hell? What, this, you can't eat this. You can't eat this. There's no way you can eat. There's no nutrition in this. There's no freaking in nutrition in this. So what's the point of this? So I, I still don't figure, I still can't figure out really what the point of this was. Now I know what it is. It's another way to manipulate the human humanity's hormones. So when a hypnotherapist is using crystals, they're ma basically messing with your hormones. When you go see an energy healer who then uses these crystals that go over your body and do this and do that and all this hocus pocus BS, they're manipulating your hormones. Some people might call it witchcraft, others may call it something else, but it really, it is inducing hormones. And so with the whole thing, with the whole, um, the moon phases, what clued me in on this is because the moon phases, the moon phases is nothing more than manipulating your hormones. But if your hormones are kept at bay, then it would mean that you're not going to be affected by those, those other energies that do bring it out because you're countering it with positive elements. Because that, whatever the moon phases are, whatever negative elements it, it puts out there, 
you're keeping all of that at bay with the right chemistry. So I'm gonna unblock that one chick because I don't think it was her that did that laughing face. So we'll see. I'm hoping she had really good intentions. I'm going to assume she does. So I'm gonna make this very clear. Crystals are negative elements. Well, I don't know, uh, Natalie, I don't know, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna leave her alone because she just, I don't know. Yeah, looks like a troll. So yeah, Oregon energy is bad. Crystals, they may be pretty, but don't put them on your body. And really don't have them all over your house either. When you have too many crystals and too much of this organ energy, so I'm throwing this shit away. I don't need this shit. This organ energy is crap. It's maybe it's pretty, look like a paperweight, but you don't need these negative elements in your house. Yeah, I have Wi Fi, but guess what? I have Jilly Juice. I have positive elements that counter whatever negative forces are out there, and I don't need these things to bring out any um, hormones which is negative elements to then control my, you know, control my energy. I don't need that. And so it finally clicked on why this guy who's big in the holistic industry, who's also a musician, sells these organites and then says, oh yeah, we're, we're countering the chemtrails. Do you see how all of this deceptive, um, marketing that goes on so somebody can make a buck off the ignorance of the population. I have friends that I've known for a while that's getting into the Oregon energy because it's so pretty. Yeah, it's fun to manipulate your hormones. It's fun to go and, and induce oxytocin. It's so fun to play with your addictions until the addictions kill you. Do you see that? Um, I understand, Kevin, and I'm not knocking that. But I'm, you have to understand, you're going to be bringing in jelly juice along with that. But I'm talking about the people who strictly just focus on the crystals. And that's it. They measure chocolate. Because you don't have to. The thing with, with the trauma, Kevin, is that you can actually bring, you don't, even, you don't even need the energy. If you choose to bring it in, that's your perspective. I get that. There's a way to transition and bridge the gap between the two different industries. But you don't even need to do the energy healing at all with this. Now, some people may need to, no different than taking a Tylenol, no different than taking cannabis, no different than taking anything that is in conjunction with Jilly Juice. But I'm talking about is the strict organite dealers who have it sitting on your desk and claiming that it'll help your vibrations. I'm talking about the ones that don't even deal with Jilly Juice, that play with the crystals and play with the sound therapies and play with all these different things, but don't even acknowledge that you need to have nutrition, not manipulate your hormones and tap into oxytocin or you know some other hormone that anesthetizes you. Okay, so yes, if a person wants to still transition from the holistic slash allopathic because they're no different, they can use an immunotherapy and jelly juice. They can use cannabis and jelly juice, though you don't want to have too much of the energy healing, don't have too much of the cannabis, you don't want to have too much of the immunotherapies or too much of the chemotherapies or too much of anything that manipulates your hormones. Because that's all these drugs are, like cannabis. All it is is inducing a hormone to help anesthetize you while you're trying to heal. That's all the energy healing is. It's just using it to anesthetize you while you're trying to heal with Jilly Juice. But when you do everything independent of Jilly Juice, then all you're doing is manipulating your hormones and using it to anesthetize you, which then creates an imbalance and then more natural killer cells. So the whole chakras and the energy healer people, and that's all they deal with, and that's it, and they don't even bridge that gap with Jilly Juice. I would say no, but then I'm not saying to do only energy healing and jelly juice. No, you do whatever you believe in. If you think that you need cannabis to manage the healing, if you think you need peppermint oil and water on a washcloth to put over your forehead while you have a migraine, that's fine. Now, Kevin's going to come from the perspective of energy healing, and I'm going to make sure people understand that his energy healing is going to be 
one of as many as people want to to use to transition. I'm not trying to say that energy healing and agility juice is the only way. No, we want to be able to speak to everybody. But we have to focus on the dangers of only focusing on one therapy that manipulates hormones. So energy healing, only energy healing, no jelly juice is just as bad as smoking cannabis or doing chemotherapy or anything else when it manipulates your hormones to create natural killer cells. That's what we have to understand. Because people think that energy healing in of itself is different than chemotherapy. It's different than cannabis. It's different than Tylenol or a vaccine with GMO ingredients. No, energy healing is not different. It's the same thing with a different marketing campaign, but it's all the same elements. It all has a same specific purpose. It's to anesthetize you. <laughs> and then Billy Webb goes, emotionalism is all about achieve with these temporary remedies, much like religious dogmas. Jillian is kicking ass. Yeah, because I see my, my, my energy people that all play with, the, the, with these things. I couldn't articulate back when I knew that this guy, Lenny Ravel, that I used to have on my Facebook, and we have mutual friends. But he was making a shiz ton off of selling that organite to all of his friends, all of us. Yeah, and they were pretty. And I knew something was going on with this organite. And my husband did too. He's like, how do you know this isn't going to affect you negatively? How do you know this isn't a poison? I'm like, I don't know. I couldn't articulate the time, but my gut knew. My husband's gut knew that this shit was bad. But I'm like, okay, well, I can't think of anything that's wrong with this at the point. So I'm not going to say anything until I have substantiated evidence to support my gut, but it took time. It took peeling back the layers to then finally figure out what is wrong with this. Okay. So, so this, so that makes sense. Now, finally, I can now be able to articulate why my gut told me that this was not a good thing. Because first of all, I'm healed and sealed. So if anything, this is just it's not even that pretty. Okay. It really isn't. Yeah, there are prettier ones out there, but I don't want those. I don't want, I don't want crystals around my house. I don't need them. Yeah. Okay. I can hang them outside. Okay. You can take crystals. Very true, Carolyn Gray. You can take crystals and hang them outside. You can hang them far away from your body, but you have anything next to your body inducing a hormone. I need to get rid of this. This is garbage, 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 garbage. Done with that. Okay. So those magnetic bracelets that they used to popularize way back when, garbage. Anything that claims is a remedy that you wear on your body that is some kind of substance be very careful. And then what did Jacqueline Silk say? She said, uh, you're so right, my friend, bought a place in Southern England, which has been previously owned by some masons, and her intuition told her she would find a load of crystals in the ground, in the garden, and load and load turned up buried in the ground, so they had obviously been buried for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, no crystals. See, and that, and that makes sense because it, it is part of the occult world. The occult world, the satanic world, is all about playing with your hormones. Why do you think they drink adrenochrome? If you know about adrenochrome, that's a hormone. Okay? Why do you think they do all these types of mind control, trauma-type horror movies? Because it induces hormones. It creates a specific type of energy that is very contagious and that affects the population like as if it was a contagion, like an infectious disease. So when you're playing with things that are inducing hormones, it's no different than vaccinating your child. 
And so, yeah, these crystal dealers, oh my God, they're not going to like this info. Oh, they're going to laugh at it no different than the people who are selling their pills, powders, and supplements and MLMs. No shungite, no nothing, K. Harris. Stay away from all of that crap. Anything in the holistic, energy healing, allopathic world. And here's the thing. I wouldn't want somebody doing jelly juice trying to take a crystal and figure out how this is going to influence jelly juice. See, this is where Kevin's going to have to be very particular because I don't want people thinking, okay, I'm going to do jelly juice and I'm going to have, then I'm going to buy a shit ton of crystals. I'm going to buy like 10 pounds of crystals and, and then have them all around my bed and do jelly juice. No, I don't want that either. See, that's where Kevin's going to be very careful. If, if there is a specific thing that you don't have to go buy, if it's something like, okay, sound, okay, maybe. There has to be a specific situation that would call for you to use something that is sound or light or some therapy to an induce a hormone to help anesthetize or help you sleep instead of taking melatonin. Okay, fine. You listen to some kind of music, some sound healing. Okay, fine. Or you do some kind of meditation along with your juice. I get that. Okay, fine. But when it comes to buying crystals or buying shungite or buying whatever it, I-T-E, whatever, whatever resin that this is made up of, no. Because you have no idea what the fuck you're doing with this stuff if you're using it in conjunction with some kind of remedy for your cancer, disease, and chronic illness. All you truly need is the jelly juice, really, because it's all nutrition. And if you know what, what you're doing with the other remedies to help anesthetize you a little bit, you know, through the healing process, through the pain process, try not to go overboard because you don't want to throw the balance off. You don't want to undermine your healing because you're trying to anesthetize the pain. That's where the balance is. You've got to feel some kind of pain. You can't play with this. I don't want to feel pain type of scenario. You've got to feel a little bit of pain. I was feeling pain last night. When I had this thing from my dog, when she stepped on my finger, okay, I'm okay with feeling pain. Feeling pain is a natural process when there is a mutation that happens and then you are fixing the cells, regenerate with the right nutrition. You're going to feel pain. And if you don't feel pain, then guess what? You're on your way to flatlining. That's the death process. That's the walking dead where they're like, okay, they're mutated and they know they're mutated and they don't want to feel pain ever in their life. That is the walking dead. And then the same thing with the whole thing with the vaccines and the anti-vax and learntherisk.org. Learntherisk.org only focuses on the ingredients in the vaccines. And then that's how they're able to then segue into the energy healing world, into all these other platforms like the anti-vax, of course, the GMO versus organic, the 5G, the, um, the pollution in the air, the chemtrails, because they're not focusing on the antibodies that get created with just the pathogen, just the bacteria. No, they focus only on the negative elements like aluminum, formaldehyde, mercury, which you get anyways in your food supply. Very good. Okay, Kevin which you get anyways in your food supply. You get mercury. You get stuff like mercury and aluminum in the air. But they focus on in the vaccines because they really want people to buy the green vaccine. So it's another marketing element, methodology, that says, okay, now, instead of getting this GMO vaccine, here's a green vaccine. It doesn't have all these additives in it, but it still has the pathogen. So it's organic, but guess what? No matter what, organic pathogens still induce antibodies. And the three things that kill people is too many antibodies equals natural killer cells, which induce autoimmunity, too much candida, and then a hormonal imbalance. So I can see why. I was feeling a weird kind of way around those, the empaths that are still playing with the crystals. There's a direct correlation to the empathics 
playing with the organite, playing with the crystals, playing with the chakras. And it makes sense because they're all chasing after oxytocin. Love, 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 love. Oh, here's a crystal. Ding, 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 ding. Let me hypnotize you. Another manipulation, guys, to mess with you. And then guess what? They're all dying anyways. Look how many crystal healers out there. Crystal, um, what do you call them? Dealers out there. They're getting old. They look old. They're aging. So when you're playing with crystals, wearing crystals, playing that whole thing, you are inducing antibodies. And if you're feeling the effects of the moon phases, you have a hormonal imbalance. It's finally connected. And, and when I think that I'm done with the revelations, they just keep coming. Because we have so many different categories in our society, so many different groups and political action communities and um, different holistic allopathic remedies and protocols and belief systems. But it all stems from what elements play with the hormones. The thing with metaphysical, I have a lady who's all about the metaphysical. She doesn't realize that metaphysical is all about how the universe impacts the hormones in your body. And what their definition of healing is, is taking a hormone to anesthetize you. Not actually get to the root cause, but playing with the crystal or with the sound therapy or with an energy healing and, and manipulating your hormones. So then, and that's the same thing with acupuncturists too. That's the same thing with chiropractors. That's the same thing with massage therapists. They play with your hormones to then have a specific outcome. Oh, you're in pain. You're healing. Oh, well, we'll find a hormone. Oh, the oxytocin hormone because it's an anesthetizer. It's a painkiller and it gives you pleasure. And we'll just go and redistribute your hormones so that way it'll cover up the pain over here. That's why people feel so good after massage therapy. That's why people feel so good after um, acupuncture. It's all hormone-induced, hormone-based. There is no nutrition in acupuncturism. There is no nutrition in chiropractor, chiropractic. There is no nutrition when they're doing the manipulations on your body in the energy healers. Now, if you're doing jelly juice and you're not buying into somebody manipulating your body, you're not buying into all their little gadgets like the crystals, then you're just strictly using certain sound therapy is like Kevin was saying, everything that he is talking about as far as inducing hormones to help anesthetize you while you're going through the healing process is all free. But remember, like anything, you don't want to do too much of it because then it would throw the balance off the body. So this is where the English language is so deceptive, so deceptive. Metaphysical, energy, hormones, boundaries. When you set boundaries, it means that somebody's hormones and you're setting boundaries because your hormones can't take somebody else's hormones. So you set boundaries on certain people. And that doesn't come into play until for a while because some of you have no boundaries. So it's understand the intention. What's the situation? What's the intention? And what's the outcome? And so, you know, we have a lot of really misdirected people because they think that hormone fluctuations and hormones is the way to heal the body. But that's not so and that's not true because what is healing? It's not anesthetizing you. Healing really is to where you see an outcome of no cancer disease and chronic illness, no aging, no death, and means no reproduction. Which then leads me to my next thing about reproduction in our society. And they're promoting poly, you know, polyamorous relationships, polygamy. And of course, with the um, increase of the vaccine schedules and all the different immunotherapies, it is degrading people more. And relative to, I'm not sure what exactly, some people will still be mutated and cannot bear children. Others will be very mutated 
and we'll be burying a bunch of kids. So any society that wants to have strength in numbers, they have to reproduce. So am I putting a kink in the, um, the plan of the elite to create strength in numbers? Or we're looking at the Georgia Guidestones where they're saying their goal is to have 500 million people in perpetual balance of nature. So where would that come from as far as 500 million in perpetual balance of nature? It may be 500 million people who are 100% healthy, are living indefinitely, and not reproducing. However, that would mean also that we wouldn't be put in harm's way to then have some kind of negative element, whether it's a plane or a gas, overwhelm a 100% healthy person to eradicate them. So is reproduction a protection against extinction? Yes, which means that if we are 100% healthy, we 100% healthy people who are not reproducing must really be careful in who it is and where it is that we go and live our life. Because once we die, we haven't given any offspring. So maybe we need to have a balance. Okay, we have 100% healthy people on this earth that live indefinitely, that can make the right choices with the right leadership. And then we have people who are mutated and they're okay too. And they're reproducing given the numbers given us the numbers to keep the population to where we're not allowing some country to come in and overtake us. Or we, you know, are such an advanced, technologically advanced society where we're able to utilize technology to keep really mutated people who want to overtake us at bay. One of the two, I don't know, but we know that there is a balance. We know that we need to have anti-vaxxers and pro-vaxxers. Because those that are, that are anti-vax, they will find ways to get a titer test or they get exposed to a vaccinated person. Well, the titer test shows what's in the population as far as you know the pathogens that induce antibodies. But the pro-vaxxers are the ones that are taking the bullet for you. They're the ones that are taking the vaccines and then they have the antibody and they're shedding, which means that you anti-vaxxer doesn't have to take the vaccine because guess what? By the mere exposure to somebody that has been vaccinated, you will get that antibody too because you'll go through inflammation, because it's a pathogen you never had before, you'll get the antibody, and then you'll get the titer test, and that's how you'll prove to any government institution that you, you are protected, okay? So we need a balance of both. So, you know, so that's probably why there's a huge campaign against me, because they still know that there's people that, that we, they still have to, to reinforce the belief systems of people who are already mutated that don't see themselves going down this road. So we need to keep them because they'll be reproducing, keeping the numbers going so we have people to fulfill the factories, people to fulfill all of the gas stations, to fulfill even biotech, even academia, you know, all the different career fields that we need. Okay, so we need people that to reproduce. But then we need a segment of population that doesn't need to reproduce, that is very smart, very logical, that's living indefinitely and can lead humanity. And the people can choose, well, I want to be mutated so I, so I can reproduce and contribute to our society that way. Well, I, I don't want to reproduce. I want to be one of the, the leaders of really innovative technology or innovative ways to build our society for the future. So we need both. We do. But we have to understand everything that 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 affects us so we can make these choices some people choose to only li want to live 80 years or 100 and that's it and that's okay we need them we need them in the trucking industry we need them in the factories we need them in the donut factories and then we need people who who are thinking who are developing who are innovative we need those too okay so there's got to be a balance but it's better that we know what we're dealing with, so that we can make an accurate choice, an effective choice, and we know how it affects us, positively and negatively. It's when you don't have a choice.
sucks is when it sucks. And so that's why I was on Dr. Phil. Even though they were kicking my ass on there, which is okay, I still got my point of view across. And it did reach the right people. So there's something to be said for this pro and this con, the for and the against, because both serve a purpose. It's just a matter of which side do you want to be on. Yeah, it sucks that we have this always this battle, but maybe we need to have this battle because it means that we have choices. And when you have choices, it means that you are making a conscious choice and it's okay and you're taking responsibility for it. So it's, it's very interesting, very interesting. All right, I'm going to go, but I just wanted to put that out there because that was a major revelation that I just didn't think of, but now finally it clicked because it is January 21st, the lunar phase and all of that, and then it fed into all the chakra and the, the crystals and that whole world that I'm like, whoo, wait, hold on. Yep, there you go. There's the gut feeling that I was not able to articulate a year ago. There you go. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.